Well, God bless you, saints of God. It is a joy to be with you this morning, one more time in the name of Jesus. And I thank and I praise God for all of you and for just taking the time out to hear the word of God this morning. We need the word of God. We realize that a lot of things around us is, is failing us and a lot of things uh, in our life are very, very challenging. But the one thing that we can always rely upon and depend on in these times that we live in, in is the word of God. And I thank God for you this morning, having a mind to hear the word of God. And this morning we would like to uh, talk about to stir it up, to stir it up. And the, the days that we are, are, are living in right now, that can be really challenging and all the things that we are dealing with in our life can really kind of bring a funk down on us and put us in a really bad place or a bad mood, praise the Lord. But today more than ever, that the uh, people of God are being summoned, praise the Lord, to answer the call of what it truly means to be a child of God, praise the Lord. And if the saints of God uh, fall into this depressed state or bad mood, Praise the Lord. Well, everything else around us, our homes, our, uh, where we uh, do business, everything else is going to fall. Praise the Lord, because we have been called to be the light of the world. And in this challenging times, there's always moments in history where the saints of God are going to be summoned. And I really believe that we are in one of those uh, points of history right now where we are being summoned to answer what it really means to be a child of God. Praise the Lord. So this morning, I want you to stir up your faith, stir up your anointing, stir up your joy, stir up the peace in your life. Speak victory over your life today. Speak victory over your home. Begin to praise the Lord and thank him for fighting your battles, for being your help, for being your strength. Praise the Lord for being the peace uh, in, in your life. And this is one of the reasons why the Lord has always told his people to remember Praise the Lord, because when we remember God's goodness, when we remember that he is fighting our battles, when we remember that we are not alone, when we remember all the goodness that he's done in our life and for others in the past, what it does is when we begin to remember that it begins to stir up. Uh, all the goodness that he has given us in our life. And when we uh, stir that up, it puts us in a good mood. And when we are in a good mood, it changes the atmosphere around us. Where not only uh, we get the benefit from it, but also others around us can also get the benefit of that wonderful atmosphere created by a good mood, created by stirring up what's in us, created by remembering all that the Lord has done uh, for us. Praise the Lord. So remember, we cannot stir anything up unless it is connected to memory or remembrance. Praise God. When we remember, then that gives the ability to have what's in us to be stirred up. Praise the Lord. So I want you this morning to turn with me to Second Chronicles chapter 20. Praise the Lord. And verse 20. Second Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 20. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord that they should praise the beauty of holiness. And as they went out before the army and to say, praise the Lord for his mercy endure forever. 
And when they began to sing and to praise the Lord, set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. Praise the Lord. So we thank God here for Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, when he had gotten word that three nations, praise the Lord, uh, those in Mount Seir, the Ammonites, and the Moabites were going to uh, come together, praise the Lord, and come up against Judah. It, it made him very afraid, praise the Lord. And he was also encouraged by uh, the prophet. But he woke, woke up early in the morning and gathered all the people together to remind them, to remember what the Lord has said to them, to remember what the prophets have prophesied concerning them, concerning the goodness of God, to be reminded of all the past battles that the nation has fought, praise the Lord, and the Lord uh, did battle for them, praise the Lord. So why he did that, praise God, what it did was he, instead of bringing out the archers and, and the swordsmen, those with shields in front, praise the Lord, to face these three uh, nations, he put in place singers in the front. He put music in there, praise and worship, praise the Lord. So by them doing that, by him doing that, and by them going in front singing and praising the Lord for his goodness, praise the Lord for his kindness, hey, praise the Lord. What it did was it put them now in a, in a mood of victory. It put them in a mood of, of praise. It didn't put them in a mood of sadness or, or defeat but it put them in a, a, a mood of being victorious, praise the Lord, of remembering all that the Lord has done for them, praise God. So in turn, by that happening, it created a victorious uh, atmosphere. And by creating that type of atmosphere, then that atmosphere ushered in God's presence where he was able to do battle in their behalf. Praise the Lord. But I want to remind you today that you cannot have a victorious or joyful atmosphere unless the mood has to change because the mood dictates the atmosphere. Every place has an atmosphere in it and it's dictated by the mood of the people that are, that are there. It doesn't matter whether if it's a funeral parlor, an amusement park, your home, it all contains an atmosphere. So let's say, for example, that if you are in a, a, a bad mood, automatically the atmosphere of your space is going to be very tense. People are going to feel the ten tenseness in the atmosphere brought upon if you're in a bad mood. Just like if you're in a sad mood, it's going to bring a very depressing atmosphere. So if you are in a good mood or in a joyous mood, automatically that's going to bring about a very delightful atmosphere. That those who step into it can gain the benefits out of that type of atmosphere. So what Jehoshaphat did was by praising the Lord... It brought the people into such a, a joyous mood. And the word of God let us know that in the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy. And another scripture in Deuteronomy says that God inhabits, praise the Lord, the praise of his people. So that means God inhabits that. He resides in it. He welcomes that. And he in turn fought their battles. How did he do it? He did it by allowing them to the enemies to fight each other. A spirit of ambushment came in between them. So you had the, anim, uh, the, the uh, uh, Ammonites and the Moabites. They now are talking together against Mount, the people of Mount Seir to try to take them out. And when they took them out, and they call themselves now going to go up against uh, uh, Judah, now they were talking about taking out the other. And now they're now fighting against each other, fighting and killing each other. And by the time it was, well, the smoke cleared, there was no one in front of Judah because they all defeated each other. 
Praise the Lord. So it has let us know how the Lord fight our battles and how we have to stir up what's in us that bring the, the spirit of the Lord, to bring his presence in the midst. Now, I want you to turn with me to 2 Peter. Second Peter chapter three and verse one. The second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by the way of remembrance that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us the apostles of the Lord and Savior, knowing this first, that they shall come in the last days, scoffers walking after their own lust. Praise the Lord. So what Peter is writing, he's saying here that uh, this is the second letter I'm writing to you. And the letters that, that I wrote to you it's nothing that was new or I'm, I'm expounding anything new to you or, or I'm, I'm giving you something that you never heard before. That's why he used the word. He says, I, I want to stir this up in your pure minds by the way of remembrance that you have it in you. Because what he was talking about was the, the second coming, he was talking about the coming of the Lord. And it got to a point where the people over a period of time began to get complacent or even questioning whether he was coming back or not. So Peter said, I'm writing this letter just to stir that up in you because when you heard in the beginning that the Lord was coming back, you were excited and motivated and very encouraged. You lived a particular way looking for him to come back. Now that's still in you. It didn't go anywhere, it's still there, but over time, He's saying you got complacent over it and now you're not taking it that seriously anymore. So he's saying now I wrote the letter to stir that up. And I want you to know today as saints of God that is you may feel in your life that uh, discouraged. You may feel like you don't have anything left. Praise God. And you may not even feel like what the Lord gave you is still there. But I want you to know it's still there. Your joy is still there. Your peace is still there. Your anointing is still there. All it needs to be is just stirred up in you. And the only way it's stirred up is by the way of remembrance. Be reminded of how good uh, God is to you. To be reminded of all he's done for you in, in the past. To be reminded, praise the Lord, that he is fighting your battles. And then you have to in turn not only think it or remember it, you have to speak it and speak victory and speak it over, over your life. Praise the Lord and have that stirred up. Praise the Lord. So I want to leave you with this in closing. Praise the Lord that, that the day that we're living in with all the turmoil and all the problems, praise the Lord, that the church now, the children of God, we're being summoned now to answer a call of what now does it really mean? You're in the middle of these problems, you're in the middle of all these distresses. What does it mean to be a child of God? Praise the Lord. Out of all the singing we've done and the worship together, praise the Lord. Now is the time in this challenging day that we are now being summoned. Praise the Lord. What does this really mean now what does it really mean in your life to be God's child and we have to stir up those good gifts that's within us we have to begin to speak victory over our life we have to thank God no matter how it looks thank you Lord for the victories uh, in, in, in our life so I praise the Lord I pray that the word of God was a blessing to you uh, this morning so let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and praise you for your word and we thank you for your goodness and all your many blessings. We thank you for what you've given us, Lord. Help us to remember 
Help us not to forget all that you've done for us, the songs that you've given us, the testimonies, all the past deliverances that you brought into our life. Help us even in these challenging days to not to forget, to know that you're fighting our battles, to speak victory in our life, in our homes. Father God, I'm praying for those who have heard this message this morning, that you would bless them, you would encourage them, that you would continually bring into their minds, Lord, all that you are and all that you are doing and continue to do. So Father, we thank you for your word this morning. And we just want to say thank you and we praise you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. So God bless you. Thank God for you. And remember the message today. Stir it up. Praise the Lord. Remember, it may not feel like it's there, but it is there. Your peace is there. Your joy is there. Your anointing is there. Praise the Lord. But all it needs is to be stimulated. It just needs to be stirred up. And the only way it's stirred up is by remembering all the things that God has done for you in your life. So God bless you. And remember, stir it up. Praise the Lord.